We have been traveling for like a week-ish and our fridge has died. So we found a guy, a local guy, and he basically said that a new fridge to replace it will be like $1,500 and we'll probably have to do that considering this is just the start of our trip. So he's gonna make some phone calls and give us a call in the morning and we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah um, that works for us. So would, what time would you want us at the shop? All right, no worries. Well, we can see you down at the shop at 10.30 and we can sort it out. All right, thanks for your help, Ken. Thank you, bye. Yeah, we've got a fridge. It's a bit more of a big deal than that. 1400 plus 12% tax. Jesus Christ. Installed. Brand new -y. Yeah. It should be the same dimensions. What do we got going on here? Uh, I'm just taking all of the food out of the fridge. <laughs> to get what? a new fridge. The, um, the fridge, I think, from sitting around for so long, and us finally using it and driving the vehicle on gravel roads. Apparently it's like shaken everything up in the cooling system and has caused blockages and it's done. Unfixable, but we're getting a new fridge. And it's good that it happened at the beginning of the trip because I feel like we'll actually get our money's worth in the fridge. So it's not that bad. The fridge didn't really work anyway. So. <laughs> Well, we've got a couple of days out of it. And this is the man, Ken. Saving us. He's going to save the day. <laughs> so apparently, it's this thing that has broken, actually, the cooling part of it. When the liquid inside gets too old, it solidifies and can't get through some of, the, some of these small holes. And once that's done, she is absolutely replaceable. Tight fit, you reckon? Well, we're gonna find out in just a minute here. Out with the old and in with the new. That's right. Yeah. Success, fridge is in, looking brand spanking new. Ken seems to believe that it's absolutely unheard of that a fridge can just fit straight into the same hole without any minor adjustments considering how old it is so we're looking up so bill show us the new fridge Woo! oh my goodness look oh it's looking good looks good blah blah Go. blah 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 Go. hey guys so here we are in sunny agassiz Go. hey guys so we're here in agassiz Killing some time. We have to wait to get some cash out to pay for our fridge because conveniently Commonwealth Bank is shut down. Until 8 a.m. Australia time, which is in about an hour from now, we won't be able to get cash out. So we're just waiting. We've hit up a couple of op shops and I'll tell how you how many how many bargains have you picked up? So the entire time I was in with Ken fixing the fridge, Josephine was in the charity shop for the entire time. We actually pulled the fridge out, put the fridge in, and still no sign of Josephine. <laughs> Had to drag her out of there. I looked at a pair of jeans and a shirt, and it would have been in total $9, but on Fridays, they have fill a plastic bag for $5. So you get a full bag of clothes for $5, and you get a second bag for free. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Bill was helping Ken fix the fridge, darling Ken. So I wandered off, conveniently next door, his workshop was his charity shop. So I was in there for a little while. It took I, like an hour. Yeah, I was in there looking. So I didn't have time to completely search. Got some Levi's jeans, got some purple parachute pants, which are sick. Three new belts, a sweater, six cassettes for the van, and that all cost me $8.50. Um, and then we just went to another one before. Three pairs of earrings. 
Some of them. Some of them. Huh? Ooh. Ooh. And a couple of toucans. Look at that. And these. I'd say they're definitely Josephine Sonny's. I know. <laughs> hey, action! <laughs>